This demo refers to categorical to numeric conversion. So I have this model which I analyzed prior to this demo and this model has this variable here, project management, which is a uh, latent variable with three indicators. If I go to the option data, viewer save latent variable scores, I can see the latent variable scores for this variable. They are standardized. And what I've done was to create a data label variable, this one here, project management categories or project management cats based on those scores so based on those scores that I had here so any score greater than one would be in the category high project management uh, any score between one and minus one would be mid and any score below minus one would be low so essentially I created a categorical variable based on the standardized variable which could be seen as a ratio variable contains a lot of information and this contains a lot less information this is often what we have with categorical variables or, or variables that uh, allow us to assign uh, data points to groups so I, I, I conducted this analysis and I kept this analysis here in an Excel file for future comparison. Now, let's assume that I have a model where I know that the model has a variable here, but the model does not have, uh, but I don't have the scores for that variable or indicators. So the variable doesn't exist. What I have is a categorical variable that I could use to create that variable. So, you know, of course, for that analysis, I need that particular variable, which is a mediator here. So for that, I will use the option explore categorical to numeric categorical conversion and I will choose conversion type categorical to numeric there are conversion modes, there are three conversion modes anchor factorial with fixed variation which is when I want a categorical variable to be used as an indicator of an existing variable anchor factorial with variation diffusion when I want a categorical variable to be used as a control variable as in a multi-group analysis in anchor factor with variation sharing where I want my categorical variable to be included in the model which is what I want to do with project management the other two uh, uh, modes they are used in similar ways so I'm gonna choose this mode I'm gonna choose as my categorical variable to be converted project management categories and again I have three categories high mid and low project management on a sample size of 300 and what I'm going to do is this here's my model so I know that my categorical variable will be here so I will use as anchor variables the variables in the model that are connected with this variable which are e-collaboration and success and I can see that the associations with these variables are positive associations so I'm going to choose these two e-collaboration and success and I'll keep the correlation sign with them as positive and I can see also that the correlations that are shown here uh, they they seem to be uh, suggestive of this variable project management being in fact associated with those pro with those uh, variables then I will create my numeric variable yes so that variable was created what I'm going to do now 
is to include it in the model. So I'm going to go to the definition of the model. I'll create new latent variable. I'm going to call it project management. And I'll use that numeric standardized indicator that was created based on my categorical variable. And notice that I, am give, I gave uh, to the software information that this variable will be here and will be linked with these two other variables. So I'll create the link. That information was used by the software to create my new variable. Now I'll redo my analysis. And here I have my results. So as you can see, when we compare with the original results, these, could, these here could be seen as the true results. Um, I can see that the results that I obtained with my categorical variable with only three categories are fairly similar to the true uh, results, true parameters that I have in this model, which has the original latent variable numeric calculated uh, based on three indicators and on the ratio scale. So as you can see, this feature is quite powerful. Uh, the results are very similar to the original results, even though here I have much less information. This feature works, works well. Apparently, the, it peaks in terms of its, um, its, uh, its uh, power, uh, let's put it this way, with around seven categories. And then it loses its power as the number of categories increases. And it, it also, of course, if we have only one category, the, the software will not be able to calculate uh, the, the new um, numeric variable based on the categorical variable. But starting at 2, the performance is quite good. And it seems to pick around 7. And then it goes down. Uh, and for example, if I have 300 data points and 300 categories, the software simply will not have enough information to come up with the numeric variable uh, based on the categories. So users should use this feature with between two and uh, maybe um, 10 uh, categories uh, on a sample size that's significantly higher than 10. Uh, I would suggest uh, at least 100. And this concludes this demo on categorical to numeric conversion.